Yeah. All right, on to the next project. So this weekend, I booked my wife a trip so she could have a girls weekend. And now I'm going to try and tackle the current laundry room situation and redo it all for her because she's been asking me to do that for quite a while. So it's a disaster right now. We got a bunch of crap piled up here from our old house that just doesn't fit in the current cupboard situation. So the goal is to install a tall cabinet right here and then a couple other small ones right here. And then I'll put a butcher block countertop and then I'll also figure out something over here for the washer and dryer. I'm gonna get a some type of uh, shelf system right up over there, so that way she can put all the all the laundry detergent and whatnot. And then I'll clean up all of this shelving over here as well. And hopefully we'll get everything situated. I got my little helper with me. It's gonna be a boys' weekend doing all this. So yeah, clean up all of this mess. Are you gonna feed the dogs? Are you gonna feed the dogs? Like I said, I'll put a couple cabinets right here and then a tall cabinet right here to put brooms and stuff like that. And then we'll be able to store all of this crap and make it look nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll paint it all and then maybe change out the light fixture, not quite sure. <laughs> Maybe change out the light fixture, not quite sure yet. Tidy up all this disaster as well. And just hopefully make it all look better. We'll figure out something here as well. But it should be interesting. I got a lot of work ahead of me in order to get this all done. But I think it's doable. Maybe. Depends on if the little helper decides to help or not. Or if you're just going to keep feeding the dogs. Are you going to help me? Are you going to help me? Oh, are you going to play with the dogs? So, we'll see. Stay tuned. It'll get better before it gets worse. Alright, so we got the cabinets now. Got a tall one. A couple 36 inches. A drawer system. And get ready to paint these bad boys. Primer first and then we'll go ahead and paint the color that she wants so hopefully this goes well not too much overspraying in the shop Let's see how it looks little brother's getting the paint gun ready we're gonna use kills for a primer and then we'll have the other color ready to go We'll see how this sprayer gun works. He says it works pretty good. We'll find out. Mmm, milkshake. Oh, my milkshake brings out a bottle, yeah, damn it.
All right, working on the first coat of paint, trying to get around all the trim throughout the room. We're only gonna end up painting uh, part of the walls, all of that wall, and then gonna leave that one. I'm gonna sand it down and stain it because it's some nice wood. So we'll paint that wall, paint that wall, and then this other wall that's got gray on it. I think we're gonna leave the trim and probably just sand them down and restain them but not sure yet, so we're gonna go through and see what we can do here. Using the fine brushes to get the trim or get all the way around the trim and then we'll start hammering here pretty quick and bust out the rollers and get it done, hopefully fairly quickly, but we'll see. Wish us luck. First coat is up and in. It's absorbing like crazy. So we're definitely gonna have to add another one. You can see up there where I painted for the, around the edge. And then we'll end up having to extend that trim cause they never did it back in the day. So I'll go ahead and extend that out. We're gonna add another coat here after a bit. Once this one's dried, you can tell right there where it's absorbed all of it already. You can see through. So, and then we'll take those shelves out here later on, do something different there, and then sand all this down and stain it. Make it look good. So, it's coming along. Slowly, slowly, slowly. But we're gonna go add another coat to the cabinets and hopefully it works. So we got the first coat done on the cabinets, got that first coat done on the inside of the room, coming back out, doing a second coat, just because they absorb. We didn't do the, do the inside earlier, but we're gonna do a coat on them right now. Well, he's doing a coat because he's running the gun. But once this coat's on, we'll then let it dry. For a little while we got the heaters going in the shop and then we're going to come back with this sagey color it's a sherwin williams interior what color is it i don't know exactly what the oh right there 6178 clary sage from sherwin williams we did this color in the bathroom not too long ago Wife really likes it, so now she wants to do the cabinetry in the laundry room. So we'll see how it looks. Go from there. Then once these bad boys are all dried up, go ahead and get them installed. And we'll be off to the races. Uh-huh, come on. I think she'll really like this way it turns out. And if she doesn't, well, I'll just say piss on her. She's gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> All right. All right, second coat of primer is dry. Now we're working on the final color. It's that green, like I was saying earlier. So it's looking pretty good so far. We'll get to finishing the rest of this and hopefully it uh, turns out all right. I think she'll be happy with it though. We'll see. We shall see. Mm -hmm. Come on.
Okay, all the painting is done. Got all the walls painted, got the cabinets painted. And as you can see, it's pretty laid out now. So I am going to start tomorrow getting these suckers placed and fastened down and all that good jazz.